in principle about C speed of light. We must consider the sea light speed like an electromagnetic volume that carries the light and the mass, and simulate all that as a real train. Every train arrives in the station and carries its objects. So we must differ the train and its job made in velocity. In few words, we must differ the quantity, presenting it in velocity. This speed is obtained through one only quantity, by dividing it in the first, that works as the numerator, which numbers the quantity of job that is made by the second one, the unit of the denominator. This numerator is the train in its length. Since this long train arrives with its quantity of electromagnetic mass and of volume, one every second of time, the dimension of its mass in movement will be given by the time of one second but its real length will be numbered in length of meters. If we have the necessity to count in meter per second the length of movement of the light speed, well, we can start by the model fixed in principle for the space and its unit. Three quarters of the length of the circle named Meridiano, in Italian, of the Earth was the quality of spatial length. Back out one quarter it was in time length, in the unit of four quarters of space-time entire. 30 millions of meters every one tenth of second was the unit of space. It's the same of 300 millions of m every s. Naturally, one only m of the total 300 millions is one divided by 300 millions. We need not a genius to understand that 300 millions of m is 1, in fact it is 300 millions of 1 300th millions. So, when we use the m, which is, compared to the precise total length that was decided, 1 300th millions. Then the unitary quantity in movement is given, by convention, simply from those 300 millions of meter per second imposed as unitary in principle. If we consider another quantity, we go against the principle. Well, we put in velocity this quantity only by dividing it in a ratio st. 300 millions less 207,542 gets 299,792,458 m per second. 299,792,458 is the velocity in meter per meter, where 207.542 meters is the length of the train. 207,542 if it's equal to one second. Afterward, remembering that are indices of the ten cycle, we have a ratio between powers, and we have 
the number of the times of the unit. We pay attention. We realize that 207.542 meters is the length of the unit of the electromagnetic mass. In fact, 100,000 by 100,000 equals 10 carat 10 is the unitary area made by the electric length multiplied by the magnetic ones. So we need 200,000 meters in length. We must multiply it by one square meter to transform it in volumes. So we need others 2 meters for to the 1 by 1. In total, 200,002 meters are necessary for to represent the volume through lines. For the mass and speed, 1,000 and 1,000 is its unit in m. Since this velocity must act in all the six directions of the space, 6 by 1,000 and 1,000 equals 6,000 and 1,000, and this has the necessity of 6,000 plus 1,000 equals 7,000 meters. 540 is the number of the units of the candela. Unitary intensity of light. By consequence, we need to have 540 meters to can quantify it. 200,002 meters is volume in its unit. 7,000 meters is mass in its unit. 540 meters is intensity of light in its unit. 207,542 meters is its total. This unit arrives in one second. Since these numbers are indices of the 10 base, we have that the multiplication between the powers are the sum of the indices and reveals the times that the unit exists in the total having the index of 3 multiplied by 10 raised to 8.